One explorer took these separate legends and connected the dots. His intention was to sail west from Europe to find the Garden of Eden itself. His name? Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus, first and foremost, was searching for a water trade route to Asia. Uh, but in the back of his mind, as, as he went on these voyages, he also, according to some of his letters and some of his documents, was searching for the Garden of Eden. Columbus believed he could reach Asia by traveling west, but he also knew that Eden was on the border of Asia. On his third voyage in 1498, Columbus made a discovery that to him must have been akin to a miracle. Christopher Columbus claimed to have found the Garden of Eden in Venezuela, in a place called Paria. He saw a set of mountains in the distance and a lush tropical landscape that to him seemed to suggest he had in fact located the Garden of Eden. Columbus was convinced of his success because the land he found matched every description of Eden from the pages of the Bible to medieval legends. He saw the physical signs that to him indicated the Garden of Eden was there. And these signs included the mountain that was partially hidden by clouds, the temperature which was neither too hot nor too cold. When he saw the Orinoco River emptying there into the sea, uh, the mass of water so inspired him that he thought maybe he had discovered the entrance to the Garden of Eden. And in his letters written during that second voyage, he indicated that he regretted not being able to explore it further. Columbus did in fact believe he had found the Garden of Eden until he died. 